Hi, welcome to ACAD Systems of ACAD Essential Online Training. Alright, this topic is about navigation in AutoCAD. So in AutoCAD, we usually navigate by using the mouse, which the most important part of it is the scroll wheel part. We normally use it to zoom in by scrolling up the scroll wheel and scrolling down the scroll wheel to zoom out. We also press the scroll wheel to use as pen where to shift the view. However, on the right side of the screen, you can also find a full navigation wheel here. Right after you click it, a wheel like this will appear and it will always follow your cursor. So what you gotta do is just go to the location that you want to change the view and then just click the action that you want to apply onto that location. For example, click zoom and then just move your cursor to downward for zooming out and then to upward for zooming in. Alright, when you click orbit, it basically will move or shift the view in 3D. That means the view that you can see now not only from the top but from all view. The view that I mentioned just now, you can see it from the view cube here. And you can also adjust the view from the view cube too. And then it also has a pen function where when you click it, you can shift the view exactly same with pressing the scroll wheel of the mouse. Okay, for zoom function, let's say I click it. The default option is it will zoom the object to extend like this. But you can change it by dropping down the zoom menu and choose others. For example, choose zoom windows and let's see how this type of zoom works. Yeah, so you have to create windows that you plan to zoom, just like that. Then you can try zoom previous where it will take you to the previous zoom view. Next, we also have orbit feature here where you can choose to use normal orbit, free orbit or continuous orbit. Alright, normal or constrained orbit basically constrains 3D orbit along the XY plane or the Z axis. While free orbit actually orbits the view in any direction without reference to the planes. And then for the continuous orbit, it will orbit continuously when you drag a little, like this. Alright, next we have show motion where it will allow us to control where along the bottom you can play the animations assigned to a shot, pin and unpin show motion. And then can close show motion. So for all of those navigation buttons, you can also find it in the view ribbon where you have to right click at the new tab of the ribbon and then choose show panels and then tick navigate. Then the button will appear on the ribbon. So now we already know how to navigate in AutoCAD. Thank you for joining this lesson and see you on the next video lesson.